win up against the team that didn't play it. Contact Gaming is the only scalp we've seen G2 play in the last three months. So let's keep an eye out for any of that hard work and whether or not they have been able to uh, work out a remedy to Astralis's rather pinpoint perfect overpass. Let's start it off. Plenty of utility. Glaive cycling through it as we prepare for the pistol. We certainly do. It will be G2 on the CT side and Kenny S with a bit of aggression to kick things off but no bullets landing. He'd see a couple of them cross over towards playground and they'll make their ventures towards long. On the other side of the map, G2 are pushed off short. Jackson Amanek using the buddy system, making sure they get a bit of information here. And Astralis will fully commit. They're going towards the bathrooms here, and it's a great shot from Kenny. He'll actually get away with it as well. Just about round the corner. And he can get away. That's lovely. Perfect. First blood drawn. Oh, oh, I don't know if he's going to be anticipating device. This is a lovely off angle. Hello. Surprise. And maybe a second. It's Nexa. He's got the kit, he's got the smoke, he's gonna deploy that now for a survival oh. attempt, and it's working, kind of, but staring at the corner, they can't quite believe their luck. They have space, and they should have that plant. Magisk does have the bomb. They've lost Glaive in the process, though. Three versus three. Well, the bomb will be going down, but it is a three on three, and we have got a, what looked to be a guaranteed fragment. Zipex is still alive. It will be made just to go down first. Significant damage inflicted to the other two, and the defuse well, it's already been attempted. It will be a fake and a close range kill from nice. Zipex here. They haven't committed to the bomb just yet. And Device now, oh, perfect okay. shot. That's lovely. Jax will be absolutely ruined there. Amanek will find a kit, pull a headshot back as well. And he's, he can fall defuses, I would. Yeah. Stick on it. He's holding it. Oh, he's and Zipex him. is trying to call the bluff. You pros don't fake. Amanek certainly is being paid a salary. Can't dispute with that one. And he is even going to get the kill. Three kills. I thought Astralis had done enough there. Device, some great shots. But Hamanek, the fact that on the first jiggle from Device, he hits that shot, the only way he had a chance there. Yeah, obviously turning the rounds. And we will see the buy come out on the side of G2. But as well as Astralis, they're actually dropping across some rifles here, cobbling together the buy. That was the opening from Kenny onto Dupree. We were talking about his woes in map number one. So. A map like Overpass is where he can clearly turn them around on the CT side. Always been a bit of a demon. So three AKs, one Galil. Glaive with Deagle, no armor. But uh, a very competitive round coming up next. We've got the Org for Amanek. Couple of SMGs, couple of Famases. As they'll go a little bit more aggro than usual, pushing in towards Connector, trying to get some valuable information, maybe flank towards T-Spawn. I'm going to be tested first. It looks like he has spotted device. And he's got a guaranteed kill. Clean. Strangely, I didn't even consider it. But I guess going uh, up against potentially an anti-eco connector is a dangerous place to be. Oh, Dupree. It was a sitter. Jacks yeah. his head. It's not looking his best today, old Dupree. Can't seem to pull a kill back. Glaive down to four. Man advantage still here for G2. Zipex. Focuses his efforts towards B. And next is still in his connect. I don't think they'll be ready for this. This is a kill. It certainly is. That's an AK as well. Jax has got another. G2 putting their foot down in this round. Glaive, let's not forget. Yes, he has the bomb. Yes, he's still alive. But with 4 HP, no armor and a deagle, it does all fall to the Clutch Minister. He wants to try and force Nexa out. And with clean precision, he secures the round. If they can keep all five alive in this one, it's going to be a fantastic start to the G2 projects look at that 2-0 all the rifles all the time and even trying to swap out an ak didn't quite make it in time well there we have it big round from g2 it all started here i'm gonna go opening things up towards device they didn't change the connector at all and g2 actually had three players in that spot it's jacks next up confirming things here a display of skill at close range proximity. We are going to have just P250s. No armor on the bomb on the back of Glaive here. Yes, things not looking too good for Astralis in the T side campaign. They picked up Vertigo, they pick up G2. But for now, looking very likely to be a 3 0 start against them. Two players towards long on either side, but the firepower is certainly favoring G2, and they're happy to take the challenge. Nice shot from Hunter, and we should get the second as well, no problem. <laughs> you like the quick ones? Certainly. Oh, that's, that's a lovely one to watch. Yeah, that would be good if they get any kills right here. If Glaive gets away with this. He does. Oh, he has. Maybe okay. he has a knife? I don't know. Is Glaive a knifer? Him. He didn't Not even see him. He will, surely. Hopefully. I mean... Kenny still has no aim. I don't know why. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, hang uh, on. Uh, He's not uh, working it out. Oh, this is ridiculous. What does POV look like, Rush? 
Ooh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. He can what? see him the whole time. Kenny. Okay. You're looking at him. Kenny. Yeah, okay, You're now looking I'm... at him. Oh, there my goodness. He can't believe it. <laughs> the bomb's down. <laughs> <laughs> and now just Zipex <laughs> remains. A fun round for he sure. He genuinely but... didn't spy him. <laughs> he didn't. He's just uh, having a good time. Ball connector was clear. Oh, you can, you can see the moment. He's just looking at it like, that's not a shelf. Oh, dear. Well, now we get the guns out. So let's see what type of a style Astralis want to go with here. This is the Orky Momo. The whole time he would have been able to see him there. It's so straight. Yeah. Yep. The moment yeah. of realization. It's like someone's uh, like, he's on the radar. He's on the radar. Kenny's like, what? Oh, what? found oh. him. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. It's all good, guys. <laughs> the orb's not out. So G2, it is a bit of a bonus round with the two Famuses coming on through here. Five rifles on the other side of things for Astralis. They're just spreading out in a bit of a default scenario right now. Not too much presence over towards A. But if we take a look, it's a three-pronged defense towards the long area right now from G2 here. They might get inquisitive at one point and push forward for info. But if Astralis just hit B, those are very long rotation times here. And that yeah, is. Taken. Okay. It is happening. So yeah, rotation time is going to be very long. G2, they put all of their eggs into this basket. They better hope they've got a coordinated retake, or I guess could be time for a unicorn round. Maybe not. Kenny and Nexa are already in a position. The flank coming in fruity spawn. Yeah, they're going to try and do as much damage as they possibly can here. Glaive looks away at the worst possible time, but did he get a single kill? Well, his teammate certainly has now in the form oh. of a dink or a bink, depending on where you're from. We are going to see Glaive here. Surely get his oh, first kill. Wow. The Hunter somehow styles him in the FAMAS there. And now they're right back in the round. It's up to Matt just to find Kenny S. And one hill convert quite cleanly. Two towards Monster. And the flashbangs are superb on both sides. Two on two. Jackson and Mech have a chance here. Yeah, it's a small one. No smoke, no hope. And now it goes Jax. But they do a lot of damage. You said they should, and they do. Taking out an extra three rifles. It will be just Dupree and Magius holding on to theirs. Yeah, that's important right there. The whole setup, it, it, they must have known if it was going to be the B hit, the retake was on the cards. You could see Nexo as soon as he saw any utility entering the site, he pivoted straight back towards the graffiti position. But this kill right here, Glaive's going to be a bit frustrated with that one. Should have been converting, and if he did, could have kept this round a lot cleaner. So with only two individuals surviving, they now have to drop rifles across and see what type of buy they could be working with. Everybody has an AK-47, but that's what I hope Astralis do for the entirety of this map, is just bully the B bomb site. Because G2, they don't have a huge amount of experience here. Dealing with that type of play, it's not an easy thing to adjust to. Here we go, then the three-man HE set up towards short. Astralis are known for it. It's been replicated by almost every single team now. This time doesn't do any damage. So finding their first round has led G2 to a different setup. Three players towards long, including the Orc, of Amanek there. He'll be joined by Hunter and Jax. Hmm. And Una yeah. towards B again. Yeah, next up. He's got a lot to do. Already that bomb will likely be going down. A good flash. He should, should be spotted, Dupree, eventually. Or oh, is Kenny the flashed him as well? That's really far from ideal. So he actually probably nice. guarantees yeah, at yeah. least one kill there. They probably have to save already at this stage. So this three-man stack on long, is it safe to assume that this I, is them I, expecting an Astralis? I think they're trying to be too clever for their own good at that stage because they, Astralis went for a clean B here before. They're just thinking, well, they probably won't do that exact yeah. same strategy again. We'll just change things up. It's just a call in game leaders made, just trying to be one step ahead of the curve. From what I can see, didn't work out for them. Not the end of the world. They'll maintain four players here, but Device, he certainly got this one. Hunter called buggering around the slide, and uh, that's going to be him taken care of. Yeah, so I think here, I've seen Astralis literally, I don't use that word lightly, play T halves where they've only gone B. Yeah. They've only gone B, like every single round, just B, different variations, waste their utility, get control of monster, push on in, force it to be extremely awkward. And G2 early, with doing a stack like that, you want to set the pace, right? Because you can get them and lure them into your gamble stacks, and now Glaive has to worry, is that their normal setup? Are they doing that to counter us? Where is that coming into play? But by going B and just using well, your superior utility, your superior experience on a map like this and understanding of how it should be approached, they could walk away with a massive haul. And now the mind games begin. Do they continue going B? That setup didn't work for G2. They've deployed it again. They're doing it again. The exact same setup towards long. So they're just trying to set this one up until it does work out for them, hoping Astralis go, we can't just keep going B. Surely we're going to change things up. And it does look like a spread default for now. So they might get a chance to show us what this three-man stack is made of. For now, exactly the same as what it was in terms of the guns as well. Amanek's getting inquisitive. He can't stand it. He doesn't want to be sitting there watching the bomb go down and having to knife out so much ground to cover. Device has walked all the way through. 
through toilets, back up, and now back to B. Interesting. Okay. Chad could be onto something. That's going to be going all the way to heaven. With graffiti. Kenny, however, will catch one and be able to deploy his smoke. That buys some time. That's the change up. Send the AWPA for the open line. Hunter oh, can lock him in here. Him? I think he might have been spotted. Look how tight of a line Glaive's working with. Great control. Oh, he's going to get traded. He snipe out. That's the bomb delivered. Amanet can do a lot with this. If he has a smoke, he doesn't, but a nade will at least enable him to reposition. What you'll have to, device is hot on his heels at this stage. That's a guaranteed frag. He Whoa. takes damage for it, though. That's disappointing. Probably converted by Jax at this stage. He'll be focusing towards long AK out, and he can hear device towards the bathroom as well. So those tiles giving up the position of device. They'll start to re-coordinate back towards B. They retake again. They got two players forward. on the way. Kenny S will be at least heaven, but smoked out. Okay, Zifex advancing. Not sure Nexa can really stop this plan. He will be checked. Oh, Zifex tagged down low. It's not enough. What? No frags. That jacks perhaps. It's device. They weren't planting that, were they? Free. No, not yet. And that, that would have been it unless that kill came through. I don't think they had the bomb going down there. They might have cancelled it just as I was saying that, but it didn't look like it was getting planted. Oh, that one there. And it was another B finish for Astralis. So yep. they feigned the default. They feigned some presence. G2 took information. The information at the time was good. They pushed. And as soon as Glaive gets that kill onto Hunter, I believe it was, that was basically the round done and dusted. You could see G2, they were thrown for a bit of a loop. Now they're just down to pistols. This is when Astralis can start asserting some dominance here. And they can now, on these low buy rounds, go pepper over towards A. Keep the A defense on us. Say, look, we can go to this side of the map. You need to consider that when we get the guns back out. Ooh, Zipex dealing with the boost very nicely. It's up close with the 5-7. Aminet goes down two openings. Nice and quick stuff from Astralis here. They're really putting their foot on the gas now. Yeah, perfect flashbangs as well. Amanek, you're good for two there if you don't go and get a full white screen. Perfect weapon for that job as well. Close quarters, one click, one kill. Didn't even get a chance to see an opponent. So coming to our logical conclusion of the round, Dupree will swing around and be greeted by two, which will convert much better from Dupree here. Clinical finish, 4-3, they'll edge the lead and the money is out of control. Jack says almost 10k here. And so uh, suggests a double orb setup could be coming out. Kenny S purchases the first, you know, Amanek and Jax both do like to experiment with the orb. It's Amanek mainly who insists on it on some maps. Yeah, we've seen it on Mirage as Train well. Train highlighted well. in the past. Train would be another one there. He's going with the org. I like it. I hope we get to see more of the org getting a, a bit of use. That hasn't been nerfed into oblivion. Actually seems relatively balanced for the price point and what it could do. Early Molotov comes on out. It hasn't landed, so... Well, there it is. The deeper one. Just the nice and deep. So, uh, allows them to cross over, but denies access towards playground. Triple nades again. G2 haven't been caught off guard by that at all. Oh, the, what's going what? on? What? Kenny? Kenny, what? Kenny? He wasn't flash. There's no flash assist. He ran around the corner with his knife out. What What just happened? Well, maybe, you assume they were going B. I don't know. If we could maybe grab that. I can do it on Skybox. Let me. Yeah, if you look. grab it on Skybox, let's see what's going on there. That, that was peculiar, to say the very least. Uh, so Chad's going to work on that. Now we'll get back to the round four and four. Hunter, heads up. Uh, but completely flashed off. You can see Debris picking up the assist there. Certainly earned it. And there's three stacked in towards B. And this is like by the first time they go A. Could be. Yeah, it kind of hinges on what device reports. And well, with frag like that from Jax, long range. 50 seconds. Magisk will continue to... Try and find a way into B. Zipex a duel with Jax. And he wins it so cleanly. That's lovely. So advantage Astralis into the site. Please be careful here. Amanek still towards the barrels. Keeping his head down. Oh, Magus doesn't commit to the check. There is. There's a kill. A double. Amanek pulls it off. He might have won the round single-handedly there. Perfect we'll bait. It looked great. Unfortunately, though, oh. so does Device Amanek. Crucial, finds three, needed two, and he keeps things level. It was down to the 1v1. I thought he'd done enough there. Device had a chance. Let's see what happened to Kenny S. I've cracked the case here. So the molly lands, but Device still gets across. Kenny is late. He doesn't think that anybody has crossed uh... to this side here of playground. And what you'll see happen is he pushes forward, continues to stay scoped on in, and that's why he's assuming that there's nobody across this line. He's about to go around the corner, knife out, nice and noisy. A freebie for device right there. So that was the calamity at the start of the round, but they course corrected. Amanek able to pull this one back. 
And now we're on to something. We really are. A hell of a game so far, four to four. CT's posting their first round after giving away for themselves. It came down to the one-on-one, -on -one, though. You can see they're fully invested. Luckily, Jax had uh, extra cash, but still two players about utility. That's himself and Hunter. Every time Astralis have gone A, they haven't met the G2A setup that they tried to do for three rounds straight. The timing, the calling, it seems like Glaive's definitely got the upper hand in this one. Now Kenny spots and eliminates Magisk. He's handling this well. Does just think better of the incendiary. The rotate likely going to be coming in from Amanek first, and a good flash will force Kenny off even further. Look how much space he's taking here. Good Molotov as well. Astralis are right back in this round. The wow. bomb will be planted. It's a beautiful execution here. You can see they had every outcome in mind there. Flashing off the key spots. This is a key jewel, though. And it will be Dupree coming out on top there. Jax didn't quite tuck himself in. And Zipex, he could swing around off this. Kenny S removed either way. His job's done for him by device. And that could be enough here. The flank oh. from Hunter. He's pulled off the initial shot here, but that gives up his spot. Do they want to go for this? The money is incredibly They're low. They're going for it. They are going for it, and Zipex knows there's two heading towards bank. Yeah, it should be one. Nice from Nexa. Time is of the essence. You need to get someone on it now. Already Dupree knocks one off the perch. No one's defusing. They're losing all their weapons. Nexa has there's to no hold time. it. No time. It's the fake, and Device will go down with the shit, but three kills and a fifth for Astralis. Money absolutely ruined now for G2. They only won the previous round with one player surviving. They lose a stage loss bonus, meaning they'll get $2,900 here, and it's just not enough. You can see it reflected right now, and uh, this is where it gets very awkward. It's actually $2,400, so even worse than I speculated. Full eco has to be 6-4. Yeah, this one here, if they do any damage at all, it'll be good stuff. Astralis, we know that, uh, well, they have more experience on a map like this. They definitely have the edge when it comes to dealing with the force by scenarios. And now that they're just going up against a couple of scattered pistols, no real utility to speak of. I would expect them to convert Con this one with ease. Contact B play by looks of things. You've got two player every monster as well. I love this. This is just, it's out of the, the Glaive handbook you, on you how just, to approach this You map. know they've got no smokes or incendiaries of this sort of round and hunt up. He's always good for one, it seems, but the Molotov does tag him slightly and uh, he'll be held at bay. Four of them towards short, Whee! make it five. Whoa! This is going to be fun. Here they come. One for Device, make it two. Even a third at the end of his spray. He opts for the pistol. He wants one more. They hunger for him and it will be Glaive in the back of the head to put Kenny to bed. Six to four. Now, if we were talking about two teams who played a lot of overpass going toe to toe, we would say Astralis have done more than enough right now on their T-half. This six is fine. Six is great. You have to be really happy with that. But the more that they can mount, the more that they can add to their tally, it's just going to get harder and harder for G2. If you listen to the start of the show, we were talking about the fact that G2 in their last 13 best of threes have banned overpass first against Contact Gaming. They pulled it out as a punish. They floated it. They took it against Contact 2. Don't play the map whatsoever and, well, made them look a little bit silly starting on the T side. They had a really nice haul, but Astralis, it's a whole different team. Yeah, even after getting 3-0 start, G2 starting to shrink here. You can see where their inexperience is not looking too great for them, generally speaking. They do have a decent buy here. Money's okay. We'll get a single orb set up out for Kenny. It's going to be six and seven for him right now. No one posting double digits if we enter round number 11. Device certainly has 15 and five. Dupree pulling up his socks as well. He'll be just beneath him with eight. CT smoked down a monster. Molotov towards short and three players outside B again. Not going to be going for the set piece grenades and a bit of damage inflicted towards Zipex. He'll be down to 52 there. Catches the grenade and will be flashing off in response. Enables Glaive to get out of connect up. So they've been focused in this new bomb site time and time again. They can fake them now, right? This is this is where they could just take them out of the game, completely ruin any hopes of G2. I think they might have a mental edge back into this. It looks like they're setting up an aggressive retake Molotov here. They want to push out. They're going to greet two of Astralis. And Dupree will hide in the smoke. Lay plays anti-flash, and it works out for Astralis. That aggression from the CTs has given them the man advantage. Now Device charging up long. Amanek's going to be posted up with the org, but he doesn't know one's already passed. He could be caught in the off here. He is. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Device, and I've just got all the info. One of three is on long, and a fully blind Amanek. He still thinks he's there. Oh, God. Oh. This is a weird exchange. Yeah, that, that is very odd. He probably still gets a kill, if I'm being honest with you. 
Device low, and he'll have to fall back. So he at least gets the information of one towards Bomber. Zipex under scrutiny now. This orb shot doesn't quite hit the mark. Again for Kenny. He's still alive, and they'll make up for it in the end. Yeah, and now the frags are all flowing. Another Framanek finally winning that duel on two device. He has to run. To he wants no to way. get the bomb out. There's no way. Oh, he could try. Amanek's not going to be able to stop him. Oh he can hear God. it. They have B. Dupree's super heaven. pushed up. And Kenny is the chance. Talk Dropping into heaven. the line. And oh, there's two oh. of them. Heaven down. He's got Five it. seconds and he's got time for the punt <laughs> no as well. Way. Oh. That's so wild. One second to spare. He makes it over. The flank from hell deployed as Dupre gets three. And Amanek, 28 points of health, boys. No kid, no nades. He's just going in because he has to. He knows this round should have been theirs. And it's just a formality at this point. The shadow spotted Astralis. Pulled the round back to survive. And that is a masterclass on how to clutch out on overpass. Oh, no. Max loss bonus for G2. Not enough to get a buy on the board. Ouch. You know it's pistols yet again. You're being strung around. That's your best opportunity since the half has begun. Well, since the map has begun. Oh, dear. Now, se I said six was fine. Well, seven's bloody great for Astralis on the T side. Every single round that they add from this point, we're getting closer and closer to an Astralis 2-0. The CT side, I, I don't know how, how G2 are going to be able to deal with I'm looking forward to the seeing them try. Side. It's definitely going to be entertaining. There's no doubt about that. You see the nade is perfect. Molotov 2, Hunter's forced out of position. So their nade and their Molotov has worked perfectly so far, and now they continue to push in. And Kenny actually could get both. Yeah. That's not bad at all. He'll take a rifle, two kills. Looks like he was getting just awkward enough that I think he gets the third as well. Very awkward oh. for device, and yeah, they shouldn't be committing to that. Should have just got out. Kenny's done so much, he can do even more. He really could. Yeah, Estrella's giving a bit too much away here, and this is turning into a bit of a mess. He baited that info with just the door. Yeah. He knows he's got such a upper hand here as well. What's all the Vox Eminem stickers on their AKs, by the I've way? I've noticed a lot of those. They're rocking it on the red line. It's and because got a... the hollow, I think, looks great with some of those skins. And it's really expensive. Yeah, and I think we saw some of them like two grand last week. It's, it's Alex and I were doing wild. some research in the sticker market. It's yeah. pretty crazy. If you were a Reason Gaming fan back in 2014, yeah. you've got cash to splash today. There's about three people I think who were Reason Gaming <laughs> fans back in 2014. <laughs> so Zipex then, we, we know he's capable of it. And they are all not really responsible for long. Is this the best angle for it? Kenny, let's not forget, he has single-handedly won this round for G2 if they convert. It is Zipex, though, of 100 HP. He gets the bomb down. There's no kits. And here we go. We're off. He's going to get his first one. And I dare say he wins at this stage. He's planted for bank, but he's <clears throat> playing from toilets. My brain... He knows they've got no kits, right? So even if they touch the bomb, he's still going to have 10 seconds to operate. And even if they go for that, oh. he actually likes it because it then becomes a 1v1. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. There's a smoke on the site on Kenny's body, though. It's they could so pick brave. that up. What if they just hold it now? They are. 10, 9, 8. He's still holding it. So now, you've lost the round. Go. You've lost oh, the oh, round. Oh. He's got it, Jax. Oh. Was holding Ooh. down that diffuse for 10 seconds. And Zipex, that plant spot comes back to bite him. He had the confidence. Maybe if he gets that kill just a little cleaner on the first, he took a couple of extra seconds there. I think people have identified against Zippy just simply defuse. Hold the defuse. That's twice. Done it. And now Jax has done it. So they pulled that out of nowhere. This was all off the back of Kenny with some amazing shots there in wow. Connector. The third onto Device was fantastic. This one onto Glaive, well, he had already done more than he was asked for. And that's going to be round number five on the board for G2. So there's a chance they can bounce back into this. They can still win the half. We're going for the four-man stack just to clear off towards the B site here. Device, well, he was spotted. It's a missed shot from Kenny. At least they know what they are up to. The CTs, they don't react and try and take any extra territory off of that, but at least they know where four players were and how far that they could be now. I was interested to know what Device's smoke was up to, but I think it was actually a lineup just to extinguish the stop molly, just so that everything sounds as normal when there's five players invested into a boost. Coming to the last few stages of this first half, flash over from G2. Does lead the mages to a double, and that could be their commitment towards B. Hunt up, will have to defend, then nothing he can really do about it, boys. Every chance, it looks like they're coming right back into the round. All of a sudden, multiple Astralis kills found. Smoke's down, Kenny S nullified, forgotten, and then just have to save his orb, I think. 
yeah, I mean, there's no other option available for him. He's been cooked. He's been booked. Great work from Astralis again into that site. You can see the distribution of the rounds. It's just been a slew of T rounds paired together. Four, then three. Intermittent CT success. You can see that diffuse, that ninja diffuse from Jax on a full eco, essentially. Just that Kenny S 4K that did manage to be combined and paired with the ninja diffuse to get the fifth. But well, once the weapons are back in, and so are Astralis, back to their usual antics, it puts Nate now on the board. Alex, uh, you're a pretty curious guy, right? So you want to see what's going on with that smoke? We're going to investigate that. We'll bring up Skybox for everybody at home. So Device is throwing it from this position here. That's what we want to focus on. You can see he's looking over towards the playground area, launches the smoke, lands exactly where Alex was saying, extinguishes the Molotov, and leads the CTs to believe they're just running a default as per the usual. So Alex, you get an A plus today. Yay! Uh, the wow. teachers have been happy with your work, and you might even get a sticker on your shirt. Oh, I hope so. Gold sticker, perhaps. The, the gold stickers always went down with mummy. Got extra time on RuneScape making my U longbows. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a joke, guys. That's uh, real <laughs> no, life. This isn't a character. <laughs> this is the human before you. Oh, dear. So for the second last round of the game, they've opted just to go for a partial buy behind these saved weapons. It's enough to work. The AWP in Kenny's hands. Oh, there you go. He finds an opening. They're Coming faffing in. around with a boost. Has lost him a frag, though. Oh. Maybe not. Dupree will fall, and now they've got a lot of advantages into this one. Only two rifles, but those two kills could translate into victory. Don't write Astralis out. That's a lesson I've learned from many years of watching these guys play. They won't be in a rush to finish this one. Yes, a man disadvantaged, but they have the weaponry. Very tense round here. G2 need it desperately. Got a four versus three in their favor, but it's not a dumb deal. They still have Deagles in the mix here. And he spotted you, because that's the kill. Oh, just in the toe cap there. It's going to be Jax down to 16. He knows he's done for. He's trying to buy time here. A grenade would take him down. He jumps away from it. So it will be the smoke instead deployed. And we'll see now if they want to go back towards A. Ooh. Next, they're trying to fend them off, dissuade them. And they just, he's actually threaded the needle here. I think he might be able to shut both of these kills down. Oh, if he, he gets someone towards water, one. that's a guaranteed kill. Hasn't checked his close corner, and now Jax will be called out. Hello? Did he just drop the he spray there? He just, did. Uh, he did. He is a cheeky boy. I'm trying to work out the mentality there. Where there's, there's, I know JW does that a lot, just before he goes for a kill. Just to maybe get everyone a little bit excited. Device, you'd think he'd hit that one. Still a two on two. Favor, Astralis with the bomb down. Even more so now. AK-47. One versus one. No way he's going to outweigh Device, and it will be another round of the ball for the Danes. Yeah, I think that was just maybe, you know, putting a little bit of salt in the wind. It's like, look how far I got. None of you were looking at me. Look how, look how close I am. He could have even had a double from that position, or, or more, really. Yeah. But uh, good stuff for Astralis. They're putting nine on the board, potentially walking away with double digits in this one. We will see G2 get the buy together. There's been no double orps in this half. It has just been Aminette keeping himself honest on the Orc. Uh, haven't seen it do crazy things, but he's still sitting towards the top of the team. 11 kills paired on up there with Kenny. Yes. Kenny, yes, has managed to find the opener this time for G2 Esports. He'll be able to disappear back into the ether. And that is a dream start for a CT side in a bit of a nasty situation. Nine to five down. This T side, as Chad's been highlighting from the earlier stages, anything more than that six is looking yeah. brutal. We're and looking at 10 now, potentially. Bear in mind, G2 won the pistol. They got a 3-0 start as well. They've had a grand total of one gun round. They won with what, Desert Eagles on that other one as well. So yeah. they've got a single gun oh. round. <laughs> and they might not convert this early pick oh. either. That's a great shot from Aegisk. So one gun round under the belt, and it doesn't look good. The closest one out, the utility's running thin. A boost coming in as well. Or see Dupree have a bird's eye view of the barrel position. No one there. Fortunately, <gasps> oh, he does spot two. one. Well, that's some information. He's got util to burn. Device catching Jax. He knows there's another on the site. Next it will be mollied, flashed. Oh, this feels so brutal. The Danes are so coordinated. How has he not been spotted? So blind, it doesn't even matter. That was like a five second flash. Yeah, he couldn't have been more flashed if he tried, I think. And the H will be thrown in. It does do significant damage, but uh, they can't save. Well, they off to towards heaven, I believe. 
That's where the orb, a nice wall bang comes in from Amanek. Gives him a chance here with May. Just get the vice so low, but the missed orb shot probably going to cost him the rounds here. Amanek desperately trying to make this one work, but there it is. Astralis. Not over, but it could be on overpass. Our second half of the final series of the day. We've had an action packed schedule. VP Namiga, Phase NIP, and now Astralis G2. And those odds, they keep getting bigger and bigger as Astralis's lead does the same. G2 running out of options now. Yeah, they certainly are. They're going to have to convert Ooh. this second pistol again. They're going to stand a chance, but it doesn't look good. The first two kills going in favor of Astralis, but not for long. A bit of life here from G2 now. Amanek left with Kenny S in the three versus two, but the bomb is down. Good smoke. Might change that fact. Zipex will try and dissuade them and push them back here, but Kenny S has no problem getting that bomb and retreating. They could even go towards A. So he's trying. He wants to. Zipex is so aware and he's done the damage. One final frag onto Amanek required. Device is the one to secure it and that's a real warning sign and a siren now for G2. Yeah, but the fact they don't even get a bomb plant there, Belly only kills Ooh. Chad. They, they pretty much have to take the full eco, really, don't they? Yeah, but if I want to Oh, put one little inkling of stock in the G2 camp is that T side is a mystery, right? The CT side was a mystery as well, but their T side, at least they can group up together and they can have some set pieces to potentially rattle Astralis. Right now, it appears that, well, there won't be any of those pocket strats coming on out on the force. It will be the save. One flash in play. They should be mopped up here quite easily, but if they can take away any of these M4s that have been purchased on up, that'll be a bonus. There might be a chance. Dupree and Device both in very forward. Oh, we're doing around the world, are we? Okay. Yeah, all the right. Classic. All right. We saw Copenhagen Flames do this on train the other day. They went IV, then box holes, then IV, then box holes. But they weren't met by Magus going to MP9. So these guys are a little bit more unlucky, I suppose. Go Not on. the clean sweep. Go on. Not the clean sweep. Oh, Anything pull but out the that. knife. <laughs> He's got four. One more for the set. It seems like Glaive's not interested in waiting any longer. He wants to get the next round underway, and so he will. 12 for Astralis up against the full eco. Not much to get excited about. I did like that he chose a different op opponent. He adjusted to the guy in the back lines there. Very nice. Gets two, and then the other two came in, coming in in quick succession with that USP. Would have loved to see that last bullet connect, but not to be. Certainly not, but they do have the AK-47s now. We ought to have smokes, flashbangs, a cheeky decoy in there, just the one Molotov. And I'll be in the back pocket of Nexa. Astralis will send three players towards middle. They've managed to get three rifles here, and G2. We saw them convert this in the first map, and to get the bonus round of their oh, belt. No. Zipex, though, looks like he's way too powerful and commanding in that particular position. Hunter removed here. They're going to have to force it towards A. Astralis doing things differently. Zipex just given some freedom in the underpass and he's found first blood. I assume I'll flash him in. Device is playing anti-flash oh. though and look, perfect. Look at that. The flash wasn't even close to device. It landed outside of the toilet position and actually team flash. <laughs> so th point. this is what we're talking about, right? G2, they don't have competitive experience as a roster on this map. It's only one map of overpass played for them in 2020 and before that there was only a handful in 2019 so, so for example your pop flashes won't be as tight your smokes will take a second to line up you won't feel comfortable in a lot of mid-round or clutch situations because you haven't been in them before but if the kills come your way you can definitely convert them here so they've steadied it's a 3v3 and now they're backing with a chance they're actually looking good utility wise yeah magisks however has opted to push into the toilets. He could get caught out. Shadow doesn't even pull the trigger. Kenny's coming from long. This is looking fantastic for G2. They had a disadvantage at one point. Glaive's charging up long to contribute. Rotate coming in from Dupree as well. They've only got a single flashbang. Spots Kenny. That's the duel he was hoping for. Now makes it a 2v2 as the bomb is planted. Still G2 favored here. Glaive's the only one with the kit, so he's currently further away from the bomb site. This is going to be tough to get back into. Oh. Oh, that was the moment there. A real chance, but it looks like G2 might have done enough. Glaive, he'll be towards the bathroom. He bows out of the round. And Astralis's run here will be slowed down somewhat. G2 pull around back. That's number three going in their favor. The AK-47s is enough. And that was the first two kills for Astralis as well there. So very impressive to pull it back. It's going to be next to Naminek to survive as they confirm that the bomb is not being defused. And Glaive will be saving the AK-47. That's towards Long, just trying to see if he can get some exit kills here. There's a chance. Next is heading in that direction. Ooh, will he risk it? If he looks back, Glaive gets a kill. He'll all just be focusing towards long. 12-6. G2 find that first of this second half. Glaive will invest straight away towards the AWP. So that suggests they will be fully investing. He'll actually give the AK away as well. So that's in the hands of Dupree, a bit of a specialist with that rifle. Device on 21 kills as well. It's been funny. Picks all over the map. 
can they answer back here and shut down the finances? There'll only be $1,900 loss bonus going forward if G2 offer this round up. So a bit of a must-win round here in context of the overall score. Forced to smoke it out. They do want to continue their progress up towards long. And that's where Device is set up. He has his crossfire established with Dupree. And here comes test number one. And this shot, nice jiggle from Kenny. Does he really want to stick around? He was looking to catch if anyone was pushing up close. Now Dupree could be in a spot of trouble here. Let's see if the flash from Kenny's any better the second time around. Will Dupree play the anti-flash? No. Oh, 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 okay. So the flash from Kenny does work at this time. And Device has caught another. To be fair, it still flashed his teammate there. He saw the assist come through, so they still haven't quite nailed it. Um, but it's still, the flash was spot on in terms of catching Dupree. Oh, but no. they're going to have to do a bit more than that to take him down. It's looking very good. Bear in mind the loss bonus. So don't get a bomb down here. $1,900 per player. And they'll be 13-6 down. Could Bombs be. down in playgrounds. Oh, that's a problem too. Yeah, that's a massive problem. Oh, um, that's no. That's going to add insult to injury. What a shot from Dupree. It's getting worse out there. Hunter, we've seen him do some crazy things with the AK before, but he has nothing to say this time round. That's 13 on the board for Astralis. Money's ruined. Yeah, pistols for G2 at best here. That's if they want to invest. Have to ask themselves some questions. They have three timeouts remaining. Now might be time for a good one. Well, they managed to win an eco in the first half, but that's all they really did. Nice work from Device and Dupree, the double D combo delivering on all fronts here. AK-47, that shot in T-Sport as well, beautiful. Amanek gets ruined. Very, very nice, and yeah, nice they won't eco. have anything. Just an armored Tech-9 for Hunter. Maybe he can grab a rifle and run with it. Glaive has run straight up to Fountain. He wants to take this matter into his own hands. Oh, this is dangerous. They risk giving away two rifles here. Oh, just like that, M4. Now, if they were to fall to Hunter's Armored Tech 9, it could have got awkward. But now, with an AK now for Kenny, they will retreat. Mission accomplished. They've got something already. Two players have just rotated off of the B bomb site for Astralis to back Glaive up, who's gone down into underpass. This is Astralis just flexing right now. Yeah. They're pushing their weight around on this map. They have a, a much more comfortable footing on it. They understand the rotations a lot better. This was once upon a time when they were at the height of their powers. Astralis is best map. This is the best team to touch the game right here. So they should be walking away with this one. I, I think they've mitigated any early issues. Amanek going to think better of hanging around. Well, it's going to be funneling them in towards the B bomb site. Magus will confirm the middle is completely clear and start to enter the connector. So. Will they be watching their back here? Apparently not. That's the bomb going down. Any chance they had of winning the round has completely been eradicated. As Kenny S will be left with the AK-47. 14-6 as he does a bit of wallbang damage as well. Just a matter of time before Kenny's removed. He might better get this kill. And down to six. Suggests he probably won't now as uh, just waiting for this round to be concluded. And there we have it. Astralis just need two to find the 2-0 in total in this series. And even after the full eco, Kenny still only has 4,300. Really not looking great out there. Yeah, again, it's been a, a tale of no orb for Kenny S. Same as Vertigo, this time less about their economical decision-making, more just about the lead that Astralis have managed to build from that first half. Hasn't had been much time, really, for them to... In my opinion, we shouldn't see anything more from G2. It uh, looks like they've shrunk. They've been exposed. Vertigo, as Chad mentioned, was a must-win for them. They could have had a chance in the third, but overpass was just going to be an incredibly tall order. They got the pistol, right? They got the 3-0 start. Yep. It's not like they got a rough one into this. They were given every opportunity and then couldn't hold on to it. Astralis, foot on the throat now, just looking to close this one out. As soon as they get 15, call it 100% done. But there will be a bit of over-aggression there as Dupree flashed in towards Connector. We'll be going down. We're going to get a lot of over-aggression here from Astralis. That's what I'm talking about with flexing right now, pushing around, understanding that they can take the fight to G2. They don't have to sit and play the fundamental counter-strike. And that's indicative when you see Dupree pushing Connector, Device pushing Backyard with an AWP in hand. You'll see a lot of these funky plays coming on out because it's going to be harder for G2 to deal with. Astralis are not playing in a way that they respect G2's overpass. They're making it janky. They're forcing them to have to double check and clear and run around and, and really question if they understand this map at the highest level. Glaive seems prepared for this. Yeah, and oh goodness. Hello. Hey, Jack, you got to know how to do that, John, my friend. Give it up. There it is. He's finally up. <laughs> Don't show why he went for on the third time. I'll, I'll really be honest with you there. After you failed it twice, probably let it go. But uh, it will be another advantage for Astralis. 30 seconds remaining. 
The bombs in bathrooms. Yeah, they're just gonna have to go towards A. Yeah, with one smoke wise spawn, just just thrown in. Over the best. In it goes. They could plan enough for this. They could. It does look positive. But they, they have no idea that the players towards long right. That's the issue. Glaive's in that spot. Although he's quite deep. And he's gonna be a bomb down. Yeah, on towards Optimus and nothing they can do to stop it. So that's step one. Unfortunately, they've lost Nexa and Hunter in a prime position, but Betrayed. he's only going to have himself to rely upon. Device on for an ace already. Four kills. Oh, he's already aware of it, or at least looking at it. He knows it's a possibility. He's going to check it with the Deagle, the ace from Device <laughs> for round 15. Just kind of summarizes what we've seen so far. G2 painted into a corner, <laughs> looking at the floor, hoping no one checks them out, but Device, he'll just get an ace instead. So just to uh, paint the picture for what's on the line for everybody right here, this is the upper bracket. It's round one of the upper bracket. So we had FaZe versus NIP going down before this series. We had FaZe picking that one up two to one. They are waiting in the upper bracket final for the winner of this game here, looking likely to be Astralis. That means for G2, if they do drop in one more round's time, they'll be dropping to the lower bracket where they'll be placing uh, heretics. I'm very excited for that one because that could be a bit of a, like a kind of a, a passing of the baton, if you will. See if uh, heretics can handle it yet. I'm not sure they will, but of course, happy to be proven wrong. Excited for that conversation when we get there. And Astralis phase as well. My goodness, would that one not, should be a banger. Would not be upset about that one. That's two very, very capable squads at similar peaks in their form. So now Dupree, he's just jiggling for info. He knows his presence underpass and Glaive perfectly flashed and executed. That was all Jax. Dupree has to stay here if Device wants to fight. So this is going to get very awkward for Astralis right now who is stuck in limbo. Fortunately for them, G2, they think better of heading towards A. They're retooling, regrouping and getting ready for what one could only assume is a B execute. Have flashes and a smoke. So it has to be a simple approach. Nothing crazy. Contact might be on the cards. Well, the flash missed. The flash oh, missed. Oh, and ZFX has got vision. He doesn't get a frag, though. And neither will Magis. He's got two in before he goes down. Dupree adds a third to the list. And that bomb needs to go down. Kenny's responsibility. Dupree in that heaven position. He's kind of locked in. Kenny can't hold it and plant, though. And so buying some time for that rotate. It's going to be all the way around the world from Device. He's coming in from T-Spawn. Bomb, bomb down. Hunter's actually going for the... Flank on towards Dupree. This frag is everything. Oh. He can't hit it. Kenny can. And now all on to Dupree. He's got two to find. Doesn't look very positive, especially oh, with Hunter's dead. flank. And now a stylish finish. He'll be able to tap away at the back of the head. We see another round of play, G2. Thanks to Kenny S and Hunter. We'll find the seventh. Pretty simple approach there. It wasn't anything crazy after nope. that opening kill. Get the kill, fall back, hit the site as a team. They know that the utility was pretty low and they made it work with that contact play. So that a little bit of life left in G2, but it still just feels like a matter of time until Astralis close. Well, they've got a nice fall by going into this one. So this would be a good a chance of any to just, uh, close things out. All for Kenny S here. And uh, we'll see if they can find yet another round. Gonna need eight in a row just to take us to overtime on their opponent's map pick. Push now from Shaw. Magus will be met by the wall bank. Offers up the grenade instead. Doesn't really go anywhere for him. But uh, a nice idea, I suppose. Back to the far and five. Five on five. We'll see Astralis. Just focusing three players towards B. We have got Dupree with the M4 this time at long, so they don't have the luxury of the AK 47s. But a lot of damage inflicted to the orb. Kenny S down at 40. Good wall bank. There's a chance. Ooh, another one coming through. And they'll survive for now. Looking for any jumping players having the CT side. They could even time out G2 if they wanted Astralis. I don't think if they stop going hyper aggressive and they just sit back, I think G2 will mistake themselves into a round loss. Like I just, yeah, I, I no, honestly I feel saying, that yeah. they're falling over their own feet. That's purely because they don't play this map. This isn't a map towards the top of their map pool. And it is one where mid round calling has to be one of the most difficult across all the maps because of how quickly you can lose territory. You have long, you go through toilets, they repick long. You're in toilets, you go to long, they push up toilets. So this map here, it can definitely send teams for a loop. Oh, Amanaki spotted at least one. And gets at least traded, one. But Dupree, a big test for him and Jax wasn't ready for it. That's the bomb delivered. His double kill could be a round winner. He's anticipating more and he's gonna get caught with nades in his hands. Kenny burns down to 14 and the frag from Device 
almost secures the round. There's no time for Hunter to retrieve that bomb and plant. That's it. It's all done, I think, and it's going to be the 2-0 for Astralis. That kill confirms it. Device with a shot.